Hi there. My name is Kenzie. I'm offering you a restorative yoga practice today from the Everyday Counts program space. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, our restorative practice is a deeply relaxing, supported um, series of poses. So let's get started. You will notice that I've got two thick bed pillows here as well as two blankets. If you could grab the equivalent, uh, please feel free. You're welcome to more pillows, more blankets, even a softer surface here if you need to. Uh, and please feel free to pause, to stay in these poses longer, to come out sooner, to skip ahead. This is your practice, your time on your mat. So let's begin. Uh, I'd like to begin in a very comfortable, relaxed, supported pose. So that might mean um, using one of these blankets for under your head or a pillow, keeping that extra one to the side in case we need more warmth, and then placing one or two pillows here to place under your knees. And from here, we might simply reach those legs over the pillows and then wiggle yourself slowly down into that supported place. And this is where you might want to make some adjustments. If that's too much pillow, remove one if you need more support under the head or more warmth. All right, so continue to make yourself as comfortable as possible. If it helps, perhaps close your eyes now and again, assess your comfort to make any of those tiny adjustments. And notice if your body feels balanced from side to side, if you feel that support from the floor beneath you. As you settle into this comfortable place, perhaps beginning to breathe through your nose, Beginning to allow your body to become still. Inviting your body to settle fully onto the floor. Sinking into this quiet, still place. And noticing what you notice in this moment. And now let's begin to draw our awareness closer to the breath. Maybe we can feel the sensation of cool air moving in past the nostrils or the lips. And then warmer air moving out. And cool breath in. And warmer breath out. If it helps now, you might bring your hands to rest on your belly. And as you feel that cool breath in, can you allow your belly to rise and expand? A warmer breath out, simply feel the abdomen draw down and in. A cool breath in, feel that gentle, deep expansion. And cool breath out, warmer breath out, and that inward, downward movement. Now let's again simply stay with this. Rise and fall of the abdomen, this gentle shift that you feel through the hands.
cool, deep breath in. Warmer, slower breath out. Three more breaths, just like this. Cool and deep inhale. Warmer, softer, slower exhale. Let this be enough to breathe and to feel. Here we are now. You might wish to rest a hand to the belly and a hand to the chest now and feel the weight of your own giving hands against your own body. And now offer yourself some sweetness, a kind word, a prayer, an affirmation just for you. Wonderful. Let's release those hands to our sides. Ooh, maybe give the fingers or toes a little wiggle, the wrists or ankles a little turn. Oh, there might be a yawn. Oh, there might be a stretch of the arms. Or the whole body. Please know that you can stay in any of these poses for as long as you choose. I am gonna invite some movement now as we transition to the next pose. You can take part in as little or as much as you choose. So I'm just walking my feet onto these pillows and gently pushing those pillows away. And then I'll keep the knees bent and walk the feet out to the edges of the mat. Ooh, I might remove that pillow from, or blanket from under my head and I might nod here so you can decide. Uh, and then depending on how you're feeling, you could try that good morning stretch again and reach the arms overhead and just notice where they land. I'm gonna move down a little so you can see those. Note the arms could reach over the head and depending on what's happening through breast tissue or through the chest, you're welcome to bring them out to the sides or down by the sides or even on your belly again. I'm just giving this as an option. The feet are nice and wide, right at the edges of your mat, your knees are bent. You're noticing how it feels to be here. And then both knees can fall to one side. You could turn to face in the opposite direction. And then let's bring the head and the knees back to center and then to the other side. Well, let's do that a few times. In restorative, we're exploring movement and poses kind of inhabit that space of openness before stretch. So if this is feeling quite stretchy at one end, maybe we don't go so far. Or maybe we do. Again, this is your practice, your time. Yeah. So we'll do a few more here. Just a gentle, a gentle wake up. Wonderful. I'm going to meet back at center. 
And then let's reach our arms towards the ceiling for a moment. If that's comfortable, we'll kind of reach the fingertips to the ceiling, maybe feeling the backs of the shoulders lift off the mat, and then we'll gently shrug the shoulders into the mat, maybe let them shrug together. We'll just do that a few times so you can feel it. Maybe you want to let those knees rest against each other to let the low back be nice and quiet as we explore that range. And then let's give ourselves a hug. Wrap those arms around yourself. Notice how that feels. If it feels nice, you can roll over to one shoulder. And then to the other. And just letting those legs and hips do whatever they need to do here. Coming back to center, reach the arms up. And we'll switch arms. And again, there could be a little roll of the shoulders to one side and then the other. Great. Okay. So as we release those arms, we can walk our feet towards each other. We can lift the knees. We can hug the knees to the belly. And let's rock a bit from side to side. And then we'll roll right over to one side. We can push the ground away and come upright. Yeah. So we've done a few movements to prepare the body for our next pose. And this is not one we've done in our restorative practice um, yet. Um, so let's play with it a bit. Similar to the other pose, we are going to stack these pillows. And not similar, we are going to perhaps not place a blanket under the head, or if we do, maybe we make it nice and thin. So I unfold it a bit, so we've got a little cushioning at the back of the head where things could feel a bit tender. Um, we don't overdo it, um, but that could change. Everyone's needs for their neck will be different. And the challenge here is to come out into this pose nice and safely. So I think a place to start would actually to be to get um, yourself sitting on these pillows. So if you'll notice, I'm going to sit down on the pillows. Yeah. And I'm going to sweep my legs over to one end. And this is where we need to be kind of gentle with ourselves. Um, I might need to roll over to one side just to get lower down onto the mat, noticing um, that I want that pillow where it can be. This is where it gets interesting, but bear with me. We're gonna lower ourselves onto our mat, pull that blanket under, and see if we can keep those hips elevated. This is a bit like a bridge pose. Like before, you could take your feet wide and rest your knees against each other, and just notice if this is comfortable. Again, we're looking for this place of openness before stretch, so we're actually giving um, an opportunity for the belly and the chest and those thighs to receive a little bit of stretch here. Um, you'll also notice that the chin is drawing towards the chest. So we're actually going to stimulate these, um, these nerves here, these glands, as we also um, give the back of the neck a little opportunity to feel this. You can adjust where the arms are. So they could be at your sides, they could be right out to the sides, they could be in sort of a cactus position. Or another nice one could be to bring those arms overhead again. And we've got this nice sort of flow of energy from the knees kind of trickling down right out through the fingertips. Okay, so final piece here. So at this point, the feet are wide, the knees are resting against each other. Is for half of this pose, we could choose to have one leg long. And then at the other half, we could have the other leg long. Or depending on how you're feeling, we could have both legs long the whole time. And I know this seems in the camera a bit extreme. There's lights, nice soft support beneath me, and there's an opportunity to open through the front of those hips. So that's where one leg at a time could be nice. Or even skipping that part and just allowing for this um, head below heart position. Now, that being said, I know I'm talking a lot to get into this pose. Um, if you have high or low blood pressure and you prefer to not have the heart below the head. You could just use one pillow and that will make a big difference. Yeah. Okay. So here we are, perhaps closing your eyes. And this is a nice chance to figure out if you're still comfortable making any adjustments here. If you would like that one leg option, you could 
straighten one leg. Again, we're looking for openness before stretch. Breathing through your nose if you can. Your eyes are closed. Starting to tune in to that cool breath in past your nostrils, warmer, slower breath out. Now starting to connect that to the movement of your abdomen. That cool breath in expands the belly. A warmer, slower breath out, abdomen draws in. And maybe we can layer one more aspect onto this and let the other ones fall away so we can count the inhale. One, two, Exhale, one, two, three. And let's try that as we let our body sink into the soft support beneath us. Inhale, one, two. Exhale, one, two, three. Stay with the count. Exhale, one, two, When you feel ready, if you've straightened one leg, let's switch. I'm going to bend that knee and straighten the other leg. Again, find that inhale. One, two. Exhale. One, two. Three. And feeling your body sinking into the soft support beneath you. Exhaling one, two,
If one of those legs is long, let's bend that knee as well. Let's rest both knees together. Let's offer a few more breaths here. Inhaling one, two. Exhaling one, two, three. You are welcome to stay right where you are for as long as you choose. If you are ready to move out of this pose, the simplest way might be to slowly roll over and off those pillows. You can move them out of the way. You can rest here on your side for a few breaths. And then we'll slowly make our way upright. Okay, so let's move our props out of the way for a moment. And again, I'll invite a little bit of movement. You can always skip this if you need to, or just do as little or as much as feels right for you. We're always looking for that place of openness before stretch, which can be a bit elusive. So we're gonna keep the knees bent, feet wide, rest into those hands, drop both knees to one side and then the other. And we did this when we were lying down at the start of the practice. And we could add a little twist here just to get some movement through the torso. So if the knees are falling to the right, we lean into that right hand, sweep the left arm around, all the way behind us. And then slowly back. And we can bring the hand down, we can shift the knees. Now we're leaning into that left hand, sweeping the right arm around. And keep following the arm. And let's do that once more in either direction. And you're always welcome to move with your eyes closed to kind of tune in to those sensations. So let's meet back at center. We'll bring our feet about hip distance apart. We're gonna lean into the hands a little bit and those palms might face out or fingertips might face out or behind. They might be kind of wide here. We're shifting our weight into those hands. And now let's lift our heart, our chin, our gaze as if your chest is being tugged to the ceiling to press into those hands. And let's do the opposite. Let's drop the chin down towards the chest. And let's round through the spine, letting the shoulders round forward. We'll do that a few more times. This could be a tiny bit of movement, some openness through the chest, through the shoulders, and then that sense of rounding forward. Let's do that once more in either direction. Again, finding that place of openness before stretch. Great, we can walk our hands towards us and we'll prepare for the next pose. So again, we'll use our big pillows under the knees, however you can get them under there. There's one, there's another. Yeah, we're gonna kind of get leaned over on these pillows. For some of us, especially if you feel some rounding here um, in the low back as you get up here, you could always sit on one of these blankets just to elevate your hips a little bit. Or even if this is too much pillow for your legs, my feet are off the mat, so I probably have a little too much. You could place a pillow under your buttocks instead. The next thing we're gonna do, once we're seated fairly upright, is we're gonna bring a little wedge of blanket between the belly and the thighs. Sometimes we have ample belly and actually separating the knees will make some space for belly. Sometimes we need just a little bit of something to lean into. So I'm gonna offer two 
blankets here as sort of a built-in support. And then I can lean forward onto those pillows. And the last bit here is a way to support the head that's comfortable. So I could have my head in my hands, or I could be crossing my forearms, even on one of these blankets, rest my forehead here. And the way to keep this comfortable is that we don't start leaning into the low back, that we're already sitting on our sitting bones, kind of lifted out of the pelvis and over the legs, as opposed to being back here. Again, if you can tell, I really feel the weight of my upper body resting on my legs. And then I'm going to let the weight of my head rest on my arms one way or another. So keep experimenting there. Whatever way allows you to feel the most support. And then once you're comfortable, perhaps close your eyes. Beginning to breathe through your nose. Noticing if you can begin to let go. And at the start of this practice, you notice how the belly would soften and expand with the inhale. And drawing back in with the exhale. But now notice that you can invite some of that inhale to expand into the low back, into the side waist. And exhale, let the upper body weigh heavy on the lower body. Inhale, expanding into the back. Exhale, softening and settling upper body over lower body. And as you settle back into that relaxation breath pattern, that cool, deep in breath, and warmer, slower out breath. Instead of counting the lengths of the breath, let's simply count each breath. And if you lose count, simply start at one again. A soft, cool in breath warmer, slower out breath, that's one. Cool, deep in breath, warmer, slower out breath, two. Keep going. If your mind wanders, start at one again. Cool, deep in breath, Warmer, slower out breath. Again, if you've lost the count, that's okay. Five or six more breaths here.
cool, deep in breath. Warmer, slower out breath. Two more. Please know you can stay here as long as you're comfortable. If you're ready to come over to this pose, maybe walk your hands up your legs and then slowly guide your upper body upright. Uh, moving slow here. From here, we will make our way onto hands and knees. We're gonna do one more forward uh, facing pose and then we'll move back onto our back for final relaxation. So this has been a lot to open through the spine and hips. Let's come to our hands and knees. Maybe rock the hips a few times from side to side. And you could be on forearms here or even forearms with those pillows under your arms. You could be on fists. We're gonna turn this into a little bit of cat-cow. So what that means is we're gonna slowly round the spine and then slowly begin to arch the spine. And we'll do that a few times. You could lead with the tailbone. We'll find a different circular motion. We're going to rock the, hand, the hips again from side to side. If you need to shake out those hands, feel free. And we'll rock the hips over to one side and then slowly circle them back towards the heels, rock them to the other side, circle them forward and around. This can be a very small movement, especially if you're finding some sensations of stretch. We'll try to explore that middle place, openness before stretch. You might change the direction of your circle just a few more times here, bringing a little bit of movement to the body. Great. And then if you're familiar with child pose and that's comfortable for you, you could drop your hips towards your heels, cross your forearms here, rest your forehead for a few breaths. Could widen the knees and the hips could be quite elevated here as we find that soft deep in breath soft or slower out breath Wonderful. So walking your hands back under you, coming to any comfortable upright position to watch me set up this next pose. And if you've been doing restorative yoga with me uh, in these classes in the past, you'll recognize this one and you're welcome to drop right into it. Um, so I'm going to offer the kind of straight leg prone position here. So you'll notice I've stacked these pillows up like so. I'm going to take the blankets and create a little support here for my forehead. So what you're gonna notice is there's some space here between um, the end of the pillows and the blankets. And I do know that I generally only need one blanket, but that um, sometimes our feet being uncurled with the tops of those toes on the mat can be uncomfortable. So if you make a little rolled blanket here for under the tops of your feet, you might find your feet are comfortable for longer. So. Got that roll. I'm gonna bring my hands to either side of the pillows and slowly lower myself down. And then bringing my face into that space um, between the pillows and the blanket, I can fold up that blanket to support my forehead at any height that feels comfortable. Arms could be out to your sides or down by your sides. Um, so a few options here. If this feels like too much pressure, 
um, on your chest, you could always bring the, the pillows a little further down. You could actually let your breasts hang free or just uh, have a little less pressure from the pillows on them. Yeah. And you could do the opposite. You could bring a little more support forward, even just with one, and that's going to make more space for the belly at the other end. So just know that you can kind of adjust those pillows so you have the right support and hopefully not too much pressure. Yeah. So once you've found that prone position and there's space for your face, there's space to breathe, lots of support here. You might close your eyes. And again, that's going to help you notice if you are truly comfortable. Yeah, as we begin to breathe through our nose here, can we again begin to expand into the low back and into the waist on the inhale? Exhale, really sinking into those pillows. Inhale, feel the expansion into the back body. Exhale, sinking into those pillows. Always establishing that soft, deep in-breath. Softer, slower out-breath. And as we rest here, Perhaps each inhale, we can really focus on that feeling of expansion into the back of our body. With each exhale, that feeling of sinking into the soft support beneath us. Inhale, feel the sense of expanding into the back and waist. Exhale, sinking into the pillows, becoming heavier. Can it be this simple to simply feel the expansion with the inhale, a deep letting go with each exhale for just a couple more minutes. Inhale and feel that expansion. Exhale, sinking and settling.
Let's notice the next three or four breaths. When you feel ready, wiggle your fingers and toes. If you're not ready, stay right where you are. This can be a very comfortable place for a lot of us. If you are again ready to transition to our final pose, maybe glide those hands under your shoulders and gently push the ground away. If you'd like to rest back into that child pose, just kind of use these props as you need to. And then when you're ready, we are gonna slowly make our way back to that first comfortable position. So um, that was with the pillows under our knees and a blanket or two under the head, maybe a blanket over the body. Again, it'll be different for everyone. Now take your time. If you're feeling a bit chilly, feel free to add more layers. Yeah. And as you settle in, just making any adjustments, your comfort matters most. Closing your eyes. Connecting to your breath. Feeling that cool, deep in breath, expanding your abdomen. A warmer, slower out breath. Abdomen draws in. Now this relaxation breath pattern can be like a little, little radio station playing in the background. You can always tune into it. It's established, the radio is on. Relaxation breath pattern has probably become quite embedded. Cool, deep in breath. Warmer, slower out breath. Now for the remainder of this relaxation, going to guide your awareness to different parts of the body. We're going to explore the front body and then the back body. And simply send your awareness there. And if your mind wanders, it's okay. Just come back to my voice. Come back to the parts of the body you know. Starting with the right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. Left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. the top of the right foot, top of the left foot, the 
right shin, left shin. Front of the right thigh, front of the left thigh. Right groin, left groin. Right side of the abdomen. Left side of the abdomen. Right side of the chest. Left side of the chest. Right shoulder. Left shoulder. Front of the right arm, front of the left arm. Right palm, left palm. Right thumb. First finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger. Left thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger. Front of the neck, lower jaw, bottom lip, top lip, right cheek, left cheek, right nostril, left nostril, right eye, left eye, right ear, left ear, the forehead, the crown of the head, and the whole front of the body, and the whole front of the body. Back of the head, back of the neck, Right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade. Back of the right arm, back of the left arm. Back of the right hand, back of the left hand. Right hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger. Fifth finger, left hand thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger. The right side of the back, the left side of the
the back, the right buttock, the left buttock, the back of the right thigh, back of the left thigh, right calf, left calf, right heel, left heel, right sole, left sole, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. The whole back of the body. The whole back of the body. The whole front of the body. The whole back of the body. The whole front. The whole back together. The whole body together. Tuning into that relaxation breath pattern. Soft, cool in breath. Slower, warmer out breath. The whole body together. you feel a deep need to stay right where you are, please feel free to rest for as long as you're comfortable. If it suits you, you might bring a hand to the belly and a hand to the chest. You're feeling the weight and warmth of your own giving hand. And offer yourself some sweetness, a kind word a prayer, an affirmation just for you. And this is where I will leave you as we move out of this practice, just remember to move slowly, to take your time. <laughs>